Okay, so uh, my talk is about uh, Android lo Lollipop internals, but instead of, of talking about uh, algorithm and code there, I will talk about uh, my, and hopefully not only mine, uh, inferiority uh, complex. Uh, I'm, uh, I'm Alexander Piotrowski, or Alex if you will. I'm, uh, right now I'm a mobile developer, at least I call myself mobile developer. Uh, the idea for this talk is uh, I gave a talk during the DroidCon conference in Krakow about Android uh, internals, the, the technical side, uh, strongly inspired by uh, Nalenkov's blogs. And um, during this presentation, there was one, uh, one part about uh, some interesting API. And uh, it came out that uh, it's not only about technology there in the code, but also there is something really uh, more important, uh, 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 something that uh, we can say that it's, uh, it's, it's technology on, on one side, and on the other side is uh, a way that we can compare ourselves to guys at Google or any other company and uh, uh, check if we are really good developers or not. That being said, I want to uh, add uh, one disclaimer that I don't have anything against Google. I just uh, I make my living thanks to the uh, technologies. I'm an Android uh, developer myself. And uh, I just talk about Google because they, uh, they code is open sourced. Uh, it's in Java, so I can understand it. It's not like I want to diminish anyway their achievements or say anything bad about uh, their developers. Uh, they are awesome for sure. It, and the one important thing is not that I was uh, trying to get a job there and then turn me down, right? It's uh, no bad blood between me and uh, Google. And the funny thing about the recruitment there, uh, I was told by a friend that the process is quite complicated. They ask you to transform matrix uh, using uh, uh, at, uh, three or maybe max four variables. But at the end, as mobile developers, our job is about moving labels, four pixels to the left or the right. Uh, that being said, let me set the stage, right? There is something I would say, it's uh, uh, API's arm, arm race. Uh, uh, there are new APIs each time. There is a new release of uh, of uh, major release of uh, smaller also uh, a major release of uh, operating systems. Uh, during the WWC, I checked that the, the, it was said that there are four thousand new APIs for iOS eight. Four thousand new APIs. The question is, uh, are those four thousand APIs four thousand new material design things? If this is true, then th that would. S my suggestion is that are the the very good developers that each year they create. 4,000 genius things, or maybe they are just minor changes to the API because there are new parameters or maybe new methods for a class. Uh, to answer that, I checked, um, I checked Android API divs. This is for Android Rollipop. The list is quite long, but at the end, if we look into a particular um, API change, let's say, uh, for instance, this is a, a new package, Android Util Range. It's a very simple class. Uh, uh, two numbers, a, a range, right? Five and ten. Uh, API is very simple. I can ask for the lower and upper number. I can check if a number is in the, in the range. So very simple API. It's not uh, a new genius API. Very simple thing that uh, every one of us uh, could create, right? There are also some significant changes, right? We have this material design thing. Uh, maybe not API, but it's a huge change, right? This this is um, another change uh, important for all of us uh, from the security point of view, uh, web view that is now updated using uh, uh, Play Store. And to be honest, if you look at the uh, tech inside the code, it's very nicely done. We have this uh, FDA, so it's called uh, full disk encryption. And if I get it uh, correctly, now it works. Previously, no matter how many, up to six or eight uh, pin uh, numbers in your pin code you have, it, it doesn't matter because it's so easy uh, to be cracked. Uh, there are Bluetooth stack changes, and there's also one very important thing and interesting for me, Job Scheduler API. We'll talk about this and try to see if, it's, uh, if we could create this uh, ourselves, or if we have to be a Google to create such a great API. Uh, so, what is also important is that this API, it's not a regular API, it's a part of a project. So Google is calling it a project vault. Uh, he, uh, last time it was, a, uh, last night it was a project felt, I think, for the KitKat. The project vault is about the power consumption of our phone. The project vault has a huge thing, it's about reducing, redu reducing memory usage. Previously it was project butter with jelly, jelly bean, it was about, I think, speed of UI. So it's not on the API, it's a project, right? Huge thing. At, if, you look at, if you look at the API, it's not that difficult, right? There is a central thing. It's a system service. We have our apps here on the left. We ask the system service to perform our job. And then we also ask, uh, we attach a certain uh, criteria to our job so that we want to run, uh, for instance, eBay want to run a, 
job when uh, the network is, uh, it's, we are on a Wi-Fi network. So the API looks really easy. It's not rocket science here. Clean, nice API. How it looks inside. What's, what's funny here, Google only did that for Android 5.0. That would suggest it's, uh, it's, uh, it's something really only that it can be used with latest Android version because there are lots of, uh, under the hood, there's, there's lots of uh, various new, uh, new, new code used, uh, new API used. At the end, there's a guy who created a compact version of that API. So in his, there's a slight difference in, in his case because he, he wasn't uh, allowed by the Android platform to create a system service. So his, uh, his code is, um, um, uh, the API is the same, it's a bit different. Uh, uh, the, the distinction is the service inside, but if he was able to create a compact version, my question was, so maybe the code, the code there isn't that hard, right? Maybe it's just, just, just a couple of lines of Java. And that being said, as a part of this project Volta and their uh, promotion materials, it was uh, materials during the uh, Google I.O. conference, it was said that uh, the scheduling cr criteria I, I showed you previously, it's, they can be a battery if, if you are charging or not, time of course, uh, do something every 15 minutes, network and also three stars here. And those three stars, they called it idle mode. Uh, not, sorry, idle mode without, without quotes right now. So they called it idle mode. So some, this, this sounds really interesting. Right? What does it mean, idle mode? They said during the, the same video that idle mode is when our device, the system notice that we don't use our device and most likely we won't use it uh, in near future. 10 seconds later, the same video, it was said that the idle, if you uh, post a job to the job scheduler and say that we want to post the job in, uh, to run the job when the, the device is idle in idle state and is charging. This basi basically means that our device—it's we are at night and our phone is next to our bed, right? So this looks like a—it's not easy, right? And it's not easy, not in one line of code, right? To check if the, it's night, the different time zones, or that kind of stuff. If the phone is next to the bed, so most probably it's not moving. So maybe we have to look at the sensor, gyroscope for for instance, right? So. One dig dig digression here. So, so Google is good at actually checking that kind of stuff, right? They, they, there is no one Google, right? Each of us have different Google. They can target the different ads uh, of each of on us, uh, different search results we get. Uh, our friend, Antoni Kandratsky, I, I assume he, he, he's over there. Uh, he was giving his presentation and during this presentation, he went to a, a website and he, I, I saw that there were so, so there was advertisement of a paint, like wall paint, and most probably you have a new flat or you are renovating your apartment, right? <laughs> I know this because of the ads, right? So the Google is good at targeting uh, each of one of us. They have the technology and they use this very often for the search and advertisement, right? So so maybe they can learn my behavior. They know that the at night for me is after 10, uh, 10 p.m., right? And, uh, and I, or maybe for some of us it's earlier or later, right? So is it true? I checked, of course, the search results mandatory. I checked if it's true that uh, uh, Cristiano Ronaldo was dumped by his girlfriend. So on the left, it's me. Uh, as you can see that Google have a bit different results for for uh, for a random guy with uh, with uh, without Google account, right? A bit different results. Uh, pictures uh, for me are upper. I like pictures. Uh, there's different suggestion about his salary here. It's not here. So Google uh, knows the difference, right? So. What I want to s wanted to say up to now is that they are strong at marketing their technology. During the um, uh, pro promotional videos, they say about this idle mode. Uh, they say that it's a very complicated thing. They are they have bold made bold, they can make bold statements, and uh, it's, it sounds that they're capable of doing that, right? And th they have proven track record because of the search thing and uh, and uh, and uh, advertisement. They, they are the business, right? So how does this idle algorithm really looks like in the code. So it's, uh, it's that simple. They check if the display is turned off of my phone, right? Then they start a timer for 71 minutes. Uh, there is no comment about that variable. There is no, no, no information in Git log. I checked that. So it's number out of the blue, 71 minutes, plus minus five minutes. Then if the alarm goes off and the screen is still turned off, it means that we are in the idle state. Please note that there is this idle state now is qu in quotes. Funny thing, because in the video it was idle state with mode, sorry, without quotes, and in the code there is a comma, comment, and there are quotes there. So, so guys from the marketing they said idle mode, cool, and the programmer in the code he saw the algorithm and, and for him it's idle <laughs> mode. 
what we can see is that the time here is not a factor. There is no at night, it's just screen is off, right? Sensors are not being used, so it's not that my phone is next to my bed. It can be anywhere. And the last thing is that actually it's only the, 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 the display is a factor in the algorithm, right? It's on or off. So at the end, for me, I, I thought that there is a rocket science there, right? That are the, the screening process, and the, 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 the material suggests that, that, that there's lots of science and good code there. But at the end, if you look at the code, we shouldn't have any inferiority complex. It's very easy and uh, no magic there, to be honest. That being said, my two takeaways for you guys. Don't be afraid to look at the code, because like I said, there is no rocket science there. Of course, assuming it's not uh, open source code from SpaceX, right? There will be rocket science there. <laughs> Another thing, it's actually uh, about Michal Teicher there. He's laughing. Uh, he's a guy who writes lots of code. We all should do that. And uh, in private chat, so I, I guess I shouldn't say that, but in private chat, he very often open source a new library, gets uh, hundreds of stars for that. And in private chats, he said that, no, the code is not that good. Uh, I wish to write th that better. But at the end, the very first version of our code is very lame. It gets better with every commit and every, with every uh, pull request. So to be as good as Google, we are almost there, right? But then if you want to get better, just write more code, make it open source, and uh, learn along the way. And as a thanks, I would like to say thanks to Polydia at MCCon for having us here and you guys for being for our uh, flash talks, right? Thanks. Thanks, Alex. Is there any questions? Are there any questions? No questions. It works. Uh, why are you searching? I'm first right now. <laughs> why are you searching for examples like that? Was it by accident or? No, no, no. It was because of, like I said, Nalenkov's blog. Okay. Uh, a guy over there. Uh, it, there are materials. For, uh, there is Android uh, developers blog, right? And they say that they have, there is a new API for something. And uh, basically, it's only about APIs, so methods and parameters. And there are guys who say, okay, there is an API, but how it works. And I had the pleasure to read about, uh, recently about full disk encryption, pre previously about uh, uh, payments in Android, uh, the, the, the way the secure element works, the uh, uh, host-based uh, card emulation. And basically, that was my inspiration, inspiration, that maybe I can just download the source and see how it works. Uh, this, this was the best example, and, but you have found any other interesting? Uh, very interesting, but more, much more technical is the way that Google does this uh, uh, self-updating WebView thing. I mean, uh, WebView, uh, it's, a, it's a security threat because uh, mostly advertisement, but th there are WebViews in our application, right? And then uh, it can be easily, uh, we can easily make a middle, many in the middle attack because we go to the Starbucks, we fire up our application, the WebView connects to the Wi-Fi, wi -Fi, try to download the advertisement, but of course there is no, I think that there is no strong verification there. Somebody could just send us a, uh, faked page, right? And then there are security issues uh, with, like with Facebook. Facebook. So, yeah, but the, the problem is that there is no way to upgrade that without upgrading the whole uh, Android. It, was, it, it was, wasn't possible previously before Lollipop, right? And then with Lollipop, Android, uh, Google created a cool mechanism. The package name is called com.androidwebview. So basically, it's an application. They download on your phone. And uh, quite interesting, there's a quite interesting way how they inject the application to this Zygote. I think that the right word for that is Zygote the base of our Android application. But yeah, it's m much more technical and uh, not so, so interesting. So you pick up the one which for the marketing purpose. Yeah, that is, yeah, exactly. This one was uh, like on the marketing side, was, it was genius thing, but at the end it was like 10, it's literally 10 codes, a line of codes. Okay, there's a one more question there. It was already answered. I don't really want to rain on the parade, but think for a second. You speculated about how Google get up to those 71 plus or minus five minutes for the idle time to draw strong conclusions, right? So let me speculate for a second as well. Imagine that there is a really huge database behind it, which has multiple dimensions and dimensions, and you can cut and slice it any way you want, right? And then 
doing the analysis, uh, you come by the fact that actually if you measure the idle time of the phone, you are getting uh, something like 80-90% of your guess right. And then you can implement it in just 10 lines of code, as you said. I would think it would be extremely that, good that, engineering. Th that's true. The, 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 the 71 minutes thing, maybe it's, there is a statistic behind that. Maybe somebody really checked that out. But then I, I bet that, that their, advertisement, uh, their advertisement business and search business is much more complicated. So uh, I imagine that they could like, uh, check how I use my own device, gather the data, send it back to their servers, and then after a month of use of my own phone, upload uh, my pattern, my behavior of idleness. But that, they didn't do that in the very first version. And another thing, my, my, my gut feeling is that as a developer, I call things that by their name, right? Idle mode in their promotional materials and idle mode as a comment in code. So guy who was writing the code there, he thought, hmm, it's idle mode. Good enough approximation for idle. Yeah. Right. yeah. Still better than moving uh, pixels. I was suggested uh, that maybe there is an answer in uh, Git logs. Uh, so sadly, they imported the whole uh, job scheduler API in one Git patch. So there is no information that they were just adjusting this number. Just it's, it's out there from the very first uh, commit, yeah? Thank you very much, Alex.